Hello once again, my name is Adion Meyaobi and I'm here again to discuss the topic on that chemistry. The last time we have talked about introduction to chemistry, we have also looked at the classifications of matter. So today we are going to be looking at element and symbol. Element and symbol. When we talk about elements, elements is one of the chemical classifications of matter chemical classification of matter, other ones being compound and mixture. But today, we'll be looking at elements, okay? Now, what do we call elements? Elements, we all know that chemistry is about what? Composition, property, and uses of matter. So, element is one of what? Composition of most of the things we have inside matter. Example, when you look at water, there are some elements that are inside water. So if you want to define element, first of all, you can define element as what? Well. Elements is what is a substance which cannot be split into two or more simpler units. That's what we call element. Element is a substance which cannot be split into two or more simpler units. Elements are substance, okay? A substance that cannot be split into two of more simpler units. That's the right one for the definitions of element. They cannot be split into two or more simpler units. So if you look at compound, elements are present inside compound. So now, having defined what is element, then virtually all elements have their respective symbol. What do you call it? Symbol. And what is symbol? A symbol is an abbreviation or a representation of a particular element. Take a look at the example. When you talk of oxygen, oxygen can be represented by a symbol O. What of hydrogen? Hydrogen can be represented by a symbol O, H, and on and on like that. So that's what we mean by a symbol. So when you talk about a particular element, the moment you talk about the symbol, you can be able to know what the element you are talking about. So, how do we get this element and their symbol? Some element are being gotten, we got their symbol from their own, from first letter. From first letter, these are one, one category. The first letter, example, example is when you look at hydrogen. Hydrogen started with H, symbol is capital H. Oxygen started with O, symbol of oxygen is O. And then other one we have also carbon. Carbon start with symbol C, you call it one, C. So some set can derive from their word first letter. H is for hydrogen, O is for oxygen, C is for carbon. So that is that. We have some second category. We can get them, their symbol, we can derive their symbol from their word. First letter and and another letter, another letter inside the words, inside the words of the element. Example, one example is called, let's look at chlorine. Chlorine symbol is what? CL, we have C and L, letter L. Magnesium, magnesium is what? MG, M and G. Number three example is another is called aluminium. Aluminium is another good one. A L A L on and on apply that. So those are the categories of element. You can see that some element you get them from what? From the first letter, so another set from the first letter and another letter inside there. M G magnesium A L aluminium. That's the second category. And we have the third set. Another cross of element, we can get their symbol from their word, Latin word, Latin name. Example, let us see, Latin name. What am I saying? Derived, third category, derived symbol from Latin name, from the Latin names. Example, let's look at elements. Latin name and symbol. Example or what? Let's say sodium. Sodium Latin name is natrium. 
natural natrium so we have sodium is what na and you see na stands for sodium another one is that we have called what we have potassium 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 symbol latin name is what kalium what do i call it kalium symbol k and th another one is called what uh, silver latin name of silver is called Agen, Agentum. So we have what? AG. AG is for silver. And then another one is called what? Iron. Good one. Iron is called ferrous. Although we have ferrous and ferric. Ferrous is iron 2, ferric is iron 3. What we are interested in is their what? Symbol FE. So Another one is called tin, strontium. So those are the categories of element and their symbol. So having know this element and their symbol, we can be able to talk for the chemical formula. So in a nutshell, no two elements have the same symbol. A particular element must have one symbol. A symbol is to represent a particular element. So that's why we are going to bring to this topic. So till we meet again, I still remain. Please try to subscribe on my YouTube channel for more subsequent lecture. Thank you. Happy viewing.